having spent three decades building up his collection, our next guest is the proud owner of some of Hollywood's most iconic cars, like this Batmobile from 1966. Well, despite his amazing array of vehicles, uh, Mark Perkins says he's never seen most of the films that they're from. Wow. Uh, he joins us now to explain more. And good morning. Hi, How Mark. lovely to wow. look at those cars. How lovely to talk to you. Thank you for loaning us the 1966 Batmobile. Thank you so for letting cool. me drive it. Um, that was really exciting. That was the first... This one is the, the first one in your collection. That's right. Yes, yes. And good morning to you both. Yes, the uh, 66 Batmobile um, I've had since 1988. And that was the one that sort of kicked it all off for me, really, then. Yes. And so have you always had a love of cars? Or is this a passion of yours from when you were younger? It's always been a, a love from watching the old Batman series with Adam West whizzing round in, in that car. And it was pre-internet, don't forget, and stuff like that. I decided I've got to have one and I searched high and low and lucky enough, I found one in uh, Florida. It was a bit smashed up. And uh, that's it there, what you drove in. So what is and this I've had car? It some years. What, what, what is, what's underneath it? It's a Lincoln town car, Lincoln Continental. So it's, you know, it's got a lovely big sort of flashy covering shell on it with a few rockets and lights that every car should have. <laughs> and uh, that's all it is. It's just a Lincoln getting it, turn the key and drive. <laughs> is, and you do use it. I mean, because not are they all roadworthy? I mean, I'm looking behind you now. I'm trying to focus on you because there's so many beautiful cars behind <laughs> you. But are they all roadworthy? Um, about 50% of them. As you, you know, there's several other cars behind that are just so wide and the visibility on some of the other Batmobiles is, is so poor. You can only sort of use them on private land, really. So, so talk you, you us... You just um, end up hitting something. Yeah. Talk us through what you've got, then. What, what's, what's behind you? Where are they all from? OK, well, let's, let's start over here. So this is the Monkees. Yeah. You probably remember the pop group back in the yep. 1960s. Well, this is the actual car they used for the tour back in 2011. Uh, I was a big fan. Couldn't believe my luck when I got the call. Owning the car. Now I'm going off to work with them for a few weeks. And I was their driver, so we toured no. the country with them. Cars all lovely and signed. And uh, just a fantastic thing for me, without mm -hmm. a doubt. You know, that was, a, that was an iconic moment to, to go into this car. Yeah, I bet. And what's, and is this another Batman? You go to this... This one here is Michael Keaton, 1989 Batmobile. That's pretty cool. Um, this is what sort of kicked Batman all off back again. It all sort of died down from the 60s and 70s, and then when this come alive round with Michael Keaton starring in it, it Batman just picked up. Um, don't ask me about the film. I've, I've never actually seen it. But, I can't uh, believe I like that. the car. So, it, so it's not about the movies. I mean, most, <laughs> of, most of the films that, um, that, that you've got the cars from, it's the cars central to your interest, not the movie you don't care. That's right, that's it. It's all about the cars, it's the shapes. It, it's just having something different. Anyone can have a Ferrari, a Rolls Royce, a sports car, but these are just different. And, you know, we enjoy it. We go around and we show them off to all the sort of big shows around the country. It's just a, you know, a lovely thing to do. And what's, uh, what's the next one? Next one here is Tomater from the film The Cars. Oh. Um, it's a Land Rover underneath. Kids will just jump all over it and love it in every single way. Um, it's just, just a great, fun car. And the nice thing about it is what people don't realise is if you go and look at a car, just say you look at a, someone's bought a lovely new Jaguar or whatever out, outside, you go, yeah, that's a very nice car. You come and see a piece of old junk like this, you're smiling. Yeah. You know, how can a car make you smile? And unfortunately, it, it just does. Yeah. There's no other sort of way to explain it than that. Yeah. And what else you got? Then we we'll go on to the next one. That's great. So this one here is from the Batman Superman movie. Oh. Um, I don't know too much about it, if I was truthfully. It's got a big four-litre engine. It's a pain to drive, visibility. It uh, starts and goes fantastic in every single way. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, again, you just look at it and you smile. And then we would move around again to this one here, another Batmobile. Um, I don't know what film it was in, but it was definitely in one of them, without a doubt. <laughs> I think it was The Dark Knight. Batman. Yeah. Dark Knight, yeah. Batman. <laughs> but again, they, they tell me the film's very good. <laughs> and I'm sure it is. 
But imagine that part up in the high street and you come along and say, well, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's a lovely black Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Are there any cars that yeah. you haven't got that you'd like? Back to is there one that you sort of think, oh, yeah, that would be a brilliant addition to the collection? I, I've got most of them covered, I, I think. You know, I'd probably like a few more James Bond cars. There's no reason for it. It's it, it just that, uh, you know, he's got, he's got a couple of nice Aston Martins. Yeah, I want um, a DB5. You've, I, got, a, I you've got a DB5, haven't you? I've got a DB5. I'll, I'll come to that. Now, this is the, uh, the one that the kids will really love. If you've got it's a four-year-old or a five, you know, they're going to jump all over this car and they're going to completely destroy it. But then that's what it's here for. You go to, you know, a show, the kids, the mums, the dads, you know, they're going to have their photograph taken and they're just going to remember it forever and ever. We go over to here. Now, you might remember the Italian job. Oh, this is yeah. going back to the Michael Caine one. Yeah. Well, this is a, a little Austin Mini Cooper S. Very rare, just in their own rights. And, you know, again, it's, it's a little iconic story. Is that the, bl is that the blue one the from the film? Younger people. It's not actually from the film, this one. It, this, is, this is just a copy. It's a blue Mini. Just to have a Cooper S Mark I is... Yeah. Okay. They're very, very rare. Yeah. Um, it is an impressive One of those car, most iconic cars that I like driving myself would probably be this one here, as we said earlier. This is oh the my God. Um, 1964 DB5 Aston Martin um, that James Bond would have used in something like beautiful. Skyfall. Or beautiful. Something like that. And it's, you were. It's just, just a delight to drive. Uh, that, that's the one I want. Yeah. That's the one I want. Um, your daughters, yeah. you, you offered to take your daughters to, uh, to the school prom in any one of yeah. the cars, and they went, no, 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 thanks very much. Not into that. Yeah. No, no, it, it's funny. My daughters have all grown up a, a little bit now, but the, 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 the story is this, that for years they've grown up and all their friends have come round, and obviously when the proms come round, all their friends, can we go in this, Mark? Can we do this? Can we do that? And yeah, you, we get dragged into it. So their time came round and we said, well, what, what should we go in? And they said, well, can we go in the limousine, Dad? I said, there's, there's no way we're going in the limousine. I said, you've got all these cars. Anyway, they scrapped all that idea. And we went in the um, X Factor lorry in the end. <laughs> we, I was lucky enough that one of which my friends is, is one of the you drivers. Which you don't have. So where's the big... No, it belongs to my friend. Um, he pulls all the uh, scenery around for the show. And uh, literally, that was parked outside the house. And 20 kids went rolling around in the back to the prom in it. <laughs> I don't think it was health and safety conscious, but... Probably not. We're, we're still here. Um, yeah. How much does the collection... And then one of the last cars we got here... Oh, sorry, go on, go on, show us. Oh, this is from um, Cars? Yeah. Lightning McQueen? Lightning this McQueen. Is, this is, yes, this is Lightning McQueen. Again, very, very popular with all the sort of young kids. Um, and, and the mums and dads, you know, they were queue just to sit in it and touch the buttons and and just have their photograph taken. It's, it just, just makes people's day. It's, it's complete fun Well, for it's everyone. made our day, having and the Batmobile uh, yeah. in here today. It's something a bit different. Yeah, Thank you so mind. much. Thank Good. you. Listen, look after that car and don't crash it, you two. We won't, okay. we won't. I'm not going near it. Promise, promise, no. But I am going to take Holly out for lunch in it a little bit later on. Yeah, you know what happens on those lunches. <laughs> oh, OK, then. Yeah, I'll be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, mate.